I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be as unique as us. So a couple of weeks ago, I took you guys along with me for a $20 thrifting challenge. I decided not to get those five button fly jeans because they were too big. And I've been thinking about them ever since. So I decided to put together this tutorial of five ways to take in jeans and or make them skinny so you never have to leave any amazing jeans behind ever again. No jeans left behind. Okay, first I have these two by Vince Camuto jeans that I really like. They fit everywhere except the back of the waist. Don't you hate that? You sit down and these jeans just get to sliding down. It's so annoying, but there is a very quick fix for this. And all you need for this one is safety pins and elastic. I'm just gonna pick a portion inside the tag that we're gonna draw in. I'll just snip each side only on the inside of the waistband. Then I'll put the safety pin onto the end of the elastic and push it through the waistband until it comes out on the other side. Now at this point, if you don't want to sew, you can just safety pin the elastic to the inside of the waistband on one side, then pull the elastic and safety pin to the inside of the waistband on the other side. If you are sewing or hand stitching, you will sew at one end, then pull the elastic and sew it down on the other end. And voila, no more sliding pants. And I'll show you all the final results, plus how I style them with some really cool t-shirts at the end. So next up, we have these that I bought to cut off and wear with boots like I did in this video last year. But what if the jeans fit in the waist, but you just wanna make them skinny? Well, I'm gonna show you how, but with a little twist. For this one, you're gonna take in the side that does not have a flat fail seam. A flat fail seam is the one that looks like this. You want to take in the regular seam. First, I'm gonna try them on inside out and pin them to be as skinny as I want them. If your regular seam is on the outside, then pin the outside seam. If it's on the inside, then pin the inside. Now you just sew along where you pinned and cut away the excess. But wait, I did say there was a twist, right? So I was inspired by these flip bottom jeans that I showed you guys in my runway inspiration video. So I decided to do that. So I took them back apart up to the thigh area, then folded them and laid them flat. Then I cut them straight across right above the knee area. Next, I opened them up and took the lower piece of the opposite leg and laid it inside on top of the end of the upper half of the leg. This way, the side seams will line up better. Then, sew these two pieces together here, then sew down the side seam just like we did before. And here you go. You can also use the bottom of another pair of jeans to make a pair of jeans longer, or cut off more and make a pair of jeans shorter. Okay, so I have these Lee jeans that are about one size too big and these Levi's jeans that are also one size too big. So let's marry the two and make them completely different. To do this, I'll just cut them right down the sides. I'm gonna cut about a half inch away from the seam on the black ones because I'm using those as the front half. And I'll cut the Levi's as close to the seam as possible. Then I'm gonna take the back half and lay it on top of the front half, lining the side seams up as closely as possible. Then I'll sew down the outside seams all the way to the bottom. Then I'll lay them inside out and sew the inside seam, making sure to line up the two crotch seams. The bottoms are actually not even the same length, but I love that. I just turned under the edge of the longer side and made it look intentional. Okay, so if I could go back in time and actually buy those five button fly Levi's that were way too big for me, how would I make them fit? Well, I'm gonna show you how on my all time favorite boyfriend jeans. They used to fit perfectly, but now these fall down and are really saggy in the booty area. So I haven't worn them in forever. First, for these, I'm gonna take the back pocket off with the seam ripper. Jean pockets are a bit tricky to take off because they're sewn down very well. But with a bit of patience, you can definitely get them off successfully. Then I'll try them on and pin how much I need them to be taken in. Then I'll make a seam on both legs along the line where I pin and cut away the excess about a half inch away. Quick tip, whenever I make a seam like this where there will be fraying involved, I always make two seams right next to each other so the edge won't fray so much that it makes the seam bust. Now, I really wanna put my pockets back on, so I'm actually gonna take out that second seam right underneath where the pockets are gonna go, and I'm gonna sew that portion of the seam down flat. Then I'll pin my pockets back in place and sew them right down over the old seams. Then I'll just throw these in the washing machine and let them fray naturally. 
Okay, so what if you just want a really wild and unexpected way to take in just the legs of some jeans? Then this one is for you. I'm just gonna lay them flat and cut right up the middle of each leg. Since I've tried these on already, I know that they fit great right up to about the thigh area. So I'm gonna stop at the thigh area. Then I'll try them on again and pin them as skinny as I want them. These jeans have absolutely no stretch, so they won't be very skinny. But the no stretch is the key to getting the most awesome fray. So now I'll take them off and lay them right side out and sew along where I pinned. I know you can't see my seams, but they are right here. Double seams right next to each other, just like I said before. And don't forget to back stitch at the hem. Then I'll just patiently sit and pull out all the blue threads. So that I'm only left with mostly white fray in the front. So what do you think? I love how these turned out. And click the eye to find out how to make these really simple t-shirts. Have you guys ever left anything behind at the thrift store and then regretted it forever? Let me know in the comments what you left behind. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of this renegade upcycling fun. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.